Hello, it's Q Dragon. I I'm back, and this is Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story comes from the field of neuroscience. Researchers at Yale University are studying age related mental deficits and potentially how to reverse them. Specifically, they studied the prefrontal cortex and discovered that older brains generally have slower reacting neurons. Within animal models, they were able to identify a major contributor to this mental slowdown. The buildup of a signaling molecule that can weaken neuron firing. By inhibiting or blocking this signaling molecule, they were able to return prefrontal activity to youthful levels. One inhibitor that worked is already used as medication for people with certain prefrontal conditions and is now going into clinical trials for the elderly. Our next story comes from the world of medicine where researchers in Australia are investigating the possibility of growing cancer drugs from sunflowers. You see, sunflower seeds contain a ring-like protein called SFTI. This and similar molecules have shown promise as templates for cancer drugs, but little research has been done because it's expensive to produce. This problem would be solved by using the sunflowers as biological factories. Of course, it'll take a lot more research before development and production of the cancer drug is perfected, but it is very promising. And material scientists at the University of Illinois have discovered a way to produce 3D photonic crystals that also have electrical properties. Photonic crystals are substances that manipulate photons in unique ways. Having additional electrical properties means they could potentially convert light into electricity. The scientists created the crystal by filling a complex 3D mold with a semiconductive substance. Right now, they've only created an LED light as an example, but these crystals have many applications, including solar panels. Our final story comes from the world of technology. Researchers at UCLA and Japan have developed an artificial synapse that mimics the dynamic properties of a biological synapse. It's made from two tiny electrodes separated by a nanoscale gap. Voltage was applied to it at varying rates, resulting in different conduction states. To simulate a, a electrical signal across a biological synapse, it was able to mimic the short-term plasticity and long-term potential of an actual synapse. This is another step towards computers that better simulate the human brain. Well, that's it for this week. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, and be sure to check the links below.